Hi guys, welcome to the garage, or welcome back to the garage, I should say. Okay, so this morning I was asked on Simon's Cup of Ketchup and Cards if I would do a tour of the spiritual garage. So here I am, and here we go. So I'm going to flip the camera. Welcome to the mess that is known <laughs> as the spiritual garage. So uh, this is where we like to hang out. So I'll give you a little walkthrough. So these are my shelves here with all of my stuff on it that I there's no room <laughs> in the house for it especially when my mom was alive um, she had her own thing so I had to have mine out here in the garage because we use different stuff okay so inside here we've got uh, cabinetry and stuff and then my mom okay let's see if I can show you these all right so my mom was a big sewer and she has four of these chests out here that when she was alive were absolutely chock-a-block with fabric. Now they're all empty and I'm not sure what to do yet. Here's some of my pots and pans and cooking stuff and it's, it's a lot of junk basically. You know, stuff I'm not ready to get rid of yet, stuff that I still use for cooking that doesn't fit in the, the kitchen inside is pretty small. So then we come over here and you got the hot water heater. We have an outdoor sink. Here's the washer and dryer. So when the buzzer goes off, you can, you can, uh, now you know the proximity. We have a back door that uh, leads to the backyard. And we also have a side door out the kitchen. So you can go out the kitchen uh, into the garage as well. There's some laundry baskets, chairs. My stepdad has a mini fridge for his beer, and then this is a uh, additional freezer, so all my water bottles here. Um, trash bag full of recycling stuff. This is all Jim's tools. This side of the garage is all Jim's tools and things. So um, this pile, most of this pile right here. I have to call somebody, you know, Goodwill to come and pick it up because it's all stuff from my mom. And I'm still, I'm still cleaning out on that. So I just recently bought, oh, I can't show you that. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to. I'm going to show you my addiction. Okay, so here we go. Before, <laughs> before it went out, I had to have all the pumpkin spice, okay? And, of course, I had to have some boo berries as well for get me through a couple of months anyway. <clears throat> so, here we go. So, this is my dad's workbench. He used to spend a lot of time out here. As you can see, his kids gave him the thing that says Pop's Garage. Um, his son calls him Pop. So, my treadmill, which is actually the neighbor's treadmill, which they let me borrow, uh, being used kind of as a storage container here. More boxes and stuff for Goodwill, old fan that's gotta be disposed of. So now that that took you around. So now I'm gonna take you to the front. So this is the chair where my dad sits, right across from me here. And here is my spiritual table. You can see my half because it's got all my workbooks and my chest of incense on it and of course my my backdrop triketra tapestry here little camping chair and so there's my little poo buddy that i just got and of course my candles and my crystals and my incense and stuff so i'm going to come take a seat here at the table see my little christmas poo guy i got to put him away Hi guys! <laughs> so that was kind of a walking tour of the spiritual garage. Um, there used to actually be a car in here, but of course when my dad stopped driving, we sold the car, but he always liked to sit out in the garage. And for years and years, there were just a couple of chairs out here. 
But after he stopped driving, Mom and I decided to kind of up the ante a little bit and make it nicer for all of us to sit outside because we have some neighbors that like to come over and hang out too when the weather is nice. And so um, we had purchased, um, shortly before my mom passed, we had purchased a new dining room or a new kitchen table. And so the table you see out here in the garage is the old kitchen table. And um, it, was, it was just perfect to, to put out here. So there you go. There is the tour of the spiritual garage crib. Let me know if you got any questions, what you think. I know it's mostly a bunch of junk, except for this wonderful table space that we all like to sit at. So, all right, guys, much love. I'll see you next time.